find the sum negative 15 plus negative 46 plus negative 29. So this is the exact same thing as negative 15. Instead of saying plus negative 46, that's the same thing as minus 46. Adding a negative number is the same thing as subtracting the positive version of it, or subtracting the absolute value of it. So we're subtracting 46. Plus negative 29 is the same thing as subtracting 29. So what this is saying is we're going to start at negative 15. We're going to start at negative 15. Let me draw a number line over here. We're going to start, so this is 0. I'm doing it over to the right, since all, everything we're dealing with is going to be in the negatives. We're going to start at negative 15. Let's say it's over here. So this is negative 15. And from that, we're going to subtract 46. So we're going to move 46 to the left. So this is going to be negative 15 minus 46. And then from this number, we're going to subtract 29. And we'll get us over here. So this is negative 15 minus 46 minus minus 29. So one way you can view it is this is going to whatever number this is going to be, this is actually going to be the same exact number as if we took positive 15. So let me draw the number line to the right like this. If we had positive 15 and then added 46 to it, so this would be 15 plus 46, and then added 29 to that and then added 29, but it's going to be on the other side of 0. It's going to be the negative version of this. So you could view this. This is the exact same thing as equal the negative version, the negative version of 15 plus 46 plus 29. These are going to be equivalent. In fact, you can see this is if you just distribute this negative 1 from the distributive property, this is the same thing as negative 1 times this. Negative 1, you would distribute it on all the numbers. So it would be negative 1 times 15, which is negative 15. Negative 1 times 46, which would be negative 46. Negative 1 times 29 would be negative 29. So these are equivalent. And now this is pretty straightforward. 15 plus 46 plus 29, let's just add those up. So I'll have, I have 46 plus 15 plus 29. 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 9 is 20. Carry the 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So this is 90. So this part right over here evaluates to 90. Now, this answer is not 90. 90 would be if these were all the positive versions. So if we had 15 added to 46 to 29, that would give us so this this would give us get us to 90. A little mistake here. This is 15 plus 46 plus 29 is out here. Now what we're finding here is the negative version of that. So we're taking negative 15 minus 46. So that would and and then we so we're subtracting another 29. So that doesn't get us to 90. That gets us to negative 90. We have this negative one out front. So this right over here is negative negative 90. Anyway, hopefully you found that useful.